Hello and welcome back to Crafts of Note. Today I'm going to show you a fabric haul from basically the last month or so, month and a half. Some were Christmas presents and some that I had purchased from a few different stores. I've got um, things from Joann's, things from Amazon slash fabric.com, and I think that's actually it, just those two stores. So let's get into it. So the first one is this green crepe. So I actually have already cut out from this, as you can see. I made a simplicity pattern with this recently, and it's pretty good. I like the fabric. I love the color. Like, I think green like this is one of my favorite colors. And it's got a nice streak to it. It's not see-through. It is polyester crepe, um, but it works well. And I don't know if I like the shirt that I made with it so much, I'll put that in my February makes video, but the fabric itself is nice and it was a good price. I think it was on sale the day I bought it at Joann's and I think I got two yards for maybe like four or five dollars or something. It was really cheap or maybe a yard and a half or something like that. So I got this green crepe from Joann's and then when I was in Joann's I ended up getting some more of a fabric I already had, and it's this beautiful embroidered tulle in this teal color, and it is one of my favorite fabrics. I think it's the thing I am most precious about in my entire fabric stash, in fact. And it's pretty expensive. I got it on sale. I waited for the 50 or 60% off Casa Ember fabrics, because that's what the collection is. To get some more because I had bought some when I very first started sewing and I was planning to do bras with it. But then I was like, wow, I want a dress too. And you can probably get the bra out of the scraps, but I wanted the dress too, but I did not have enough yardage. And I looked it up online and they actually only had one set of it left in any store near me. So I got like whatever I had left on the bolt, which I think was about two and a quarter yards or so. But I absolutely love this fabric. I think it is so pretty and I can't wait. I'm going to do a dress most likely with this being the overlay on the whole dress. And so it's also my favorite color as you can tell I'm also wearing teal. Teal is my favorite color and I'm very excited to use this. So now I have probably around four yards or so. So that should be enough to do any dress pattern that I want to do this way. So that's also from Joann's, although they still have it online, so you can check. I will put um, a link if I can still find it, if they still have it, so that if you like this, you can get it. Okay, the next one are all, all of the next ones are from Amazon.com slash Fabric.com, because Amazon owns Fabric.com. So another one that I got, this is Blue Crepe de Chine, and... This has got a really nice floaty uh, drape to it. I was hoping for electric blue. It looked electric blue online, and instead it's more of this very medium kind of cadet blue blue. Not exactly what I wanted. It has a little stretch to it actually too, which is kind of cool. Um, in both directions a little bit. And I was going to make a shirt with this. The same thing as I was going to make the green crepe out of. But I don't know about this color. I think I got two yards of it, and it was about $8 a yard. I'll do something with it, but it's not exactly what I wanted. But it is a nice fabric. Like, I would definitely get it in another color because it's got a nice drape to it. And it's it's pretty. It's a little bit see-through with light, but on your skin, I don't think it would be, like, if you were going to make a blouse. So that crepe to sheen. The next one is one that I recently bought, and I bought... 10 yards of it. Fabric.com, I discovered, had music note print credit. And as you know, with the name Crash of Note, I'm a professional musician, and I couldn't resist because it's really hard to find any fabric that is music themed that is not quilting cotton. They don't happen a lot, they're rare, and this was crepe. And so I was like, oh, I can make a dress, I can make a blouse, I can make whatever. And it was really cheap. It was something like four, four or five dollars a yard total, and I could not resist. So I got ten yards because I had wanted to make quite a few things from it. It's kind of a sheer one. It's got that 
like sound. It makes that sound a little bit because it is polyester, but it is very, very neat. It looks really nice. It will make a beautiful dress, beautiful shirt, and that's why I got 10 yards because it's music themed. <laughs> and so this was from fabric.com. I waited until they had um, their sale. There was like a 15% off sale, so I used 15% off plus the average price to get that. And I was very excited. And you get free shipping over $50 if you're buying from fabric.com. And so I got free shipping as well. Okay, the next ones are all the Christmas present ones that I was very graciously gifted from family members. So the first one I've actually featured in a makes video already, but I have enough left to make more stuff with it. So that is this Peacock Blue Stretch Velvet. Peacock Blue Stretch Velvet. This is from Amazon, and it is already sold out again. This color sells out a lot. And I made a dress with it, and I will post a picture of that. And I have enough left. My mom gave me three yards, and I have enough left where I think I have at least a yard still left to maybe make a bodice top or top and sleeves or something like that to a dress, or make another shirt, because I have a couple shirt patterns that I would look good with stretch velvet. So I love this. I think this is one of the most pretty fabrics. It's nice and drapey. It has a little bit of stretch. It looks gorgeous in the light. I love it. So this was three yards from fabric.com slash Amazon. The next one, also a gift from my mom. These are all on my Amazon wish list before Christmas. This is a Fabric Merchants Double Brush Poly and it's from their Marketha Stengel collection. So this one is strawberries and blueberries and mint leaves on a blue background. Now I like this fabric. I think the print is cute because it's very crisp. has a really nice print and coloring. The only thing I don't like about it is it's very thin. <laughs> it is very stretchy and very thin and when it stretches it turns white. Um, so whatever I make it with, you don't want it to pull too much, and it's definitely way thinner than I was expecting for the price, because this was, I think, $13 a yard or more for double brush poly. But the print is nice, so it's going to be a summer dress. So I'm debating over which pattern I might use for this. If you have an idea for a pattern for any of the fabrics that I've been showing, please let me know. I'd love to see. But yes, Marqueta Stingle. Strawberry, blueberry, mint fabric. They still have this, and there was a couple colorways, I believe. So I have three yards of this because I was going to make a dress. Okay. And then the very last one is one of the unique ones. I think it's the only one. This came from my partner's mother for Christmas. And this is a quilting cotton from Art Gallery. And it's their Sonata collection by Amy Cinebaldi. So this is a very, very high quality quilting cotton. And it is a mostly white background. It can be, I guess it could be called off-white, but it mostly looks white. But then all over it are pink instruments. And there's flutes, which is what I play on here, and all kinds of other things, piano, harp, symphony. And then also there are just random orchestral numbers and keys that go with it. So like for instance one says number six in F major opus 68. So they're just referring to like various uh, various symphony numbers. So I think this is really cool because I'm a musician and I want to make a dress out of this. I have four yards here because it is narrow. All the other fabrics I showed you today were like 58 to 60 inches. This one is only uh, I think 40 something, 46, 42, I forget the exact width, but it's very narrow. You can see this is half of it right here. Um, so I got four yards to make a dress from, and it will definitely need lining because it's very sheer, but it'll be a beautiful dress when it's all done. I might line it even in pink so it brings out the pink a little bit more, I have decided. So that was another Christmas gift, and it's a very, very cool fabric, very, very neat. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you're interested in this video and you want to see more. I'll try to be putting out videos weekly, so hope you enjoy, and if you have any suggestions, let me know.